Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Randall Geek. Somewhat of an important update here for you regarding T-Mobile. Link for the article can be found for you in the description below. And it is coming from Android Authority and it looks like they got their information from the mobile report. So what we're covering here is maybe some of you that use T-Mobile postpaid or prepaid may have received an email or actually a text message from T-Mobile, which looks suspicious. You may, be, may have been questioning whether or not you should click on this link. It doesn't have a T-Mobile URL when you hover over the address. So it turns out that it might actually be a safe link. Uh, it looks like T-Mobile has been using a third-party service, in particular for the needs of their T-Force team, which customers have been forwarded to what they're calling a, hands, a handset upgrade form. And the problem is, like I said, that link is not a, a traditional T-Mobile link. It's a third-party service with a company that T-Mobile is using called Coros. So T-Mobile is using Coros to host secure forms for customers. The whole idea behind this is they're saying that it's more secure. All right. Uh, so they're, basically, if you were to click on this article, you'll see that there is uh, an image of the form here. And it's just a regular handset upgrade form. Looks like T-Mobile's handset form. And then, of course, it'll ask you to provide in your phone number. Uh, so it'll say, what is the phone number you are upgrading? What device make, model, and color are you upgrading to? If your device has multiple size options, please provide. And then, of course, do you have an eligible device that you would like to trade in? And then you would answer yes or no. And then you would submit that form. They're saying that T-Mobile employees have spoken to the T-Mobile report, assuring that these links are indeed legitimate and part of a new process to handle sensitive information more securely. They're saying previously T-Mobile hosted similar forms on its own servers using a T-Mobile domain. The shift to an external platform, they're saying, particularly one unfamiliar to most customers, has understandably caused confusion and concern, adding to the unease that Koros, the company hosting these forms, describes itself as a company that uses AI and automation to analyze a treasure trove of data. While this may be standard practice for many data-driven companies, they're saying, they don't understand uh, you know, how T-Mobile is going to try to downplay the potential risks associated with sharing sensitive information with third-party platforms, which, uh, yes, I agree on that. While these links are legitimate, they're saying, customers should always, of course, exercise caution when clicking on links. Yes. So that's pretty much your update here. And most importantly, yes, if a link looks suspicious, as I said in the beginning of this video, if it's supposed to be coming from T-Mobile, but it doesn't have their address and you've you know, you're very curious to whether or not it's it's accurate or isn't. You can contact customer support at T-Mobile through their phone number. If you have an account with them, log in, get get on a chat bot, do it from your phone, whatever me whatever need may be, however you get in contact with them, just make sure it's an official source and then ask them if they can confirm whether or not. Sometimes they're not even sure. One of the biggest gripes I have with T-Mobile is this would have been nice for customers to be notified in advance before these messages went out, right? They should have had their IT team send a message to customers maybe a week in advance saying we are upgrading or moving our communications, uh, you know, the way we process secure forms. We're using a third-party vendor called Koros, and we, you know, you may start to receive links that have a third party address. No need to worry. It is indeed T Mobile. They're an affiliated company working with us, et cetera, et cetera. However, you want to word it. But customers panic when they see these types of things. That's why I'm doing this video. You may have received them and you may be questioning. And not everyone does think to contact customer support. So that's why we're doing this video here, just as a notification and a heads up that supposedly this is real. Okay. As far as we know now, currently, the time of this video. This is supposedly a legit link. And if you click on it, it's part of T-Mobile's business. Like they, this company is doing business and uh, working with T-Mobile. And uh, yes, unfortunately, another thing that the article says that is accurate is, I don't know why T-Mobile is choosing to use a third party vendor with all the data breaches and hacks that they've currently had. They should really be doing their best to have their development team and IT team and get together and make their own stuff, their own form, make it as secure as possible, you know, triple secure it, password protections up the wazoo, because, you know, God forbid now someone's able to hack through this, you know, we're going to have another data breach. 
But uh, yeah, so T-Mobile got to do a little bit better with their communications. Should definitely have notified customers in advance about this, so there would be no need to worry. And then secondly, yeah, I would I would really, if I was T-Mobile, try not to uh, try not to give customers information to anybody other than internal sources. Internal using third party vendors does open yourself up for another uh, you know episode of data breaches, which uh, is just not going to be good for them. It's going to be more fines. It's going to be more problems, and it could result in more customers leaving. But anyway, that's my take on this. I have to throw that in there because it is important to stress how many times they've been through these types of situations where our information has fallen into the wrong hands because of their carelessness and communications within this company definitely got to get better. This is not the first time. And there's been plenty of times when there's been links gone out and they were legit. But you don't know that they're legit because T-Mobile doesn't do a very good job communicating that to their customers. Customers need to know this stuff. So obviously the issue is within their IT team and their development team. Someone needs to instruct them to just send out a message. It's not really that hard. You know, it's not that hard to pump out a notification to all customers that have T-Mobile saying, this is what we're doing. It's just a message. You can even post it on the website, if anything, put it on the homepage so that when customers log in, at least some of them might notice it. Not everybody reads everything. Not everyone will pay attention. But at least, hey, listen, they could say, look, we did put a notification there as where now it's like, oh, we got this weird link. What is this? And then many customers are, you know, going to be panicking about it. But, you know, it is what it is. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.